Hello, this is an overview of a free-to-use plugin on the WordPress repository called Assistant. It's by the Beaver Builder team, the same people who created the page builder. And I think this may be of interest to those who use any kind of front-end page builder or primarily work with WordPress on the front end. In the words of the authors, it is an everyday productivity tool that lets you navigate your WordPress site and handle quick tasks without needing to go to the WordPress. WordPress admin area. Now this is in early pre-release. It is expected to be in full release later in this year. As I'm recording this at the end of April 2020, it's in version 0.4. Point zero. If you want to keep up to date with what's going on or even take part in the project, they are over at GitHub. And in the month that I've been seriously using this, there's been a lot of activity going on here. If you just take a look at the label of enhancements, you can see there's a lot of conversation on things which are planned to come to this. And I will say that this plugin is a little bit of a mystery. I know this is only the stage one of this plugin, this idea of having this front end user interface. I think other things are planned to come to this so much is going to change and a lot has changed already. I first tested this about a year ago on its first pre-release, which I think was put out so they could take part in this WordPress Orange County plugin Palooza competition in which they came first place then not too much happened but if you did test this out at the time you will probably find that it's greatly changed from then but it doesn't throw you out in any way and I think it's greatly improved. I am a big fan of finding efficiency tools particularly since I started using the page builder it was difficult to navigate around sites and particularly as they get more complex with lots of different custom post types where I think this really excels but most of the solutions that I've had so far have largely given me a menu in the top bar where I can get to areas that I wouldn't normally be able to get to quickly. This is a completely different thing. This is an interface that has some space. It's loading the data that you need through Ajax. So it always feels responsive. I think it's using the REST API. And I'm particularly interested not only because I'm a big Beaver Builder fan, but I like the way the conversations are going. It seems very clear that between them, they're trying to achieve something which is a really good user experience. And I really want something that I can pass on to clients later to make it easier for them. So there's a lot of trust with this. But it's kind of based on my memory as a Beaver Builder user. I remember going from version 1 to version 2 where it was completely different. And it took about 10 minutes to get used to version 2 and not want to go back to version 1. And I think that's quite an immense skill, particularly for somebody like me who still hasn't got the hang of moving to Gutenberg. So I really trust them for that. Anyway, that's enough of this. Let me show you around the thing. So I'm going to use one of my demo sites here. So once you've installed and acted activated it on the back end you will see there is this link to turn it on and off you can see it's appearing over here it does remember what you did last so that's an efficiency tool in itself it helps you to pick up where you left off there's no settings in the back because that really wouldn't make sense with this kind of plugin so let's just go over to the front end and what you'll see here is this icon now I'm not entirely sure if this will stay or whether this turns it into a link because on some of my installs it has so maybe this is just the startup where you see this icon to get used to it and this is a kind of pencil which also doubles up as a beaver a tail if you've seen that. Now I will just mention something else or I will forget it. If you're a Beaver Builder user in the next version, version 2.4, if you're using this plugin, it's going to show up also in the page builder itself so you can activate it from there but it's not unless you're on this latest version which will come out later okay let me open this up as I say it remembers where you were last so I'm just going to close this down and go back to here and I will just mention something about this it I think it defaults over to the top right which is fine for me not everybody wants to work with it there and if you open this up you'll see across the top here you can move it to any of the four corners when it's in its compact mode. I'm going to pop it down on the bottom left over here. And if I expand this at the bottom, the panel to go the full height here, obviously I've only got the left and right. And again, 
you've got some visual clues where you can park this very similar to how it works in beaver builder so that's quite nice we can also dim down this and it's going to remember it so we can change that kind of look if you like a dark look if we go down here you can see with the menu items that we've got here we can easily just move those up and down into the place that you want and from here you can also see you've got the light preference which i prefer and you can move the anchor to the different areas Okay, let me go and start off with the home section. So again, we've got some of the options here. We've got the search here, which is also on the side here. We can go to the back end, just the regular dashboard over here. I've shown you that already. And this gives you some basic information about the page that we are on. What I like from the home here is that you can see your different custom post types. I think it's really handy. You can just click on these and then you've got those. And on a complex site like this one, this would be quite tricky on its own because I've got WooCommerce products. I've got downloads from Easy Digital Downloads. I've got three custom post types for the Events Calendar Pro here, of, um, Venues, organizers and events and I've got my own custom post type of box here so it allows you to get to those very quickly I think most of the time you're likely to be in this content section let me just quickly show you the search if you want to use that it does remember the last searches let me just clear that and I should go and search on stock again and it will just go through the entire site I think it's pretty good and it's found the titles that have got the word stock in there so got a search which you can find from home let's go into the content area which i think is what's going to get used the most and we'll see here that we can display this as a list as it is already or we can do it by post or pages thumbnails if we've got those we can search by the different statuses and along the top here we've got also our custom post types and if we click down here we can go to any of those, including templates here. We can, from here, add in a new post if we want. But for the moment, I'm just going to go into one of the existing posts. In most of the areas, you've got some quick references over here. So you can go and view this post. You can go in the back end, edit it. If you're a Beaver Builder user, you can go to straight with you've got a little icon for that so you can go into the page builder you can duplicate any of these pages and posts and right there that's going to save me a plugin which i use one of the most popular plugins in wordpress is a plugin which duplicates your pages and posts well this is included here so i can do it from here i can add things to favorites and i can also trash things let's go into this post so we can see more of it and you can see we've got some tabs over the top here some basic navigation here let's go into this first thing here and go into the show more details from here I can change my title my slug my url is there i can kind of bring up that link i can change my publishing settings here so i can make this protected or private if i want to publish in the future i like this because this is not in wordpress we've got a little calendar that pops up so i can set this to a date in the future all from the front here i can add in some new categories or select existing ones same with tags i can add in my post excerpts if i'm using that I can access attributes here. I'm on the Beaver Builder theme here and I can put my posts under these different basic templates for the theme, change my featured image and I can turn off and on comments and pingbacks from here. And also that stays in place as well. That's sticky on the top. So I didn't need to scroll up. I could have gone straight over to my general settings let me do that and here we can add in a label we can add a label for almost anything and again this is where i think another plugin could be saved i've been wanting to organize my media library a little bit better and i can use some labels there now let me just show you here where you can add in the label so what i've done here i've just added one for my media uh, stock images and I've added one for variable products so I can see that because this is the kind of information that I'm not going to be able to see built in it's not metadata that goes with anything that's that I can easily see within WordPress so this is great if you want to work with other people when you need to share information about the status of certain posts or whatever you might be able to kind of tag things up from the front end without it affecting the back end so i'm not sure how i'll use it but i'm pretty much sure i will be using it for images and i'll just quickly go over to the images there in fact i was last in there and i was on the stock image labels as you can see here quick 
access to certain things. And I can see these as a grid, which would be the default here with all my titles on that. Really like the way that works. Or I can just sort through other types of media there. Okay, let me pop back again to the content. And I was pretty much near covering everything, I think. One other thing is that you can also do your comments from here. There is also a link here if you want to just go straight into comments. And from here, again, quick short codes as well. So you could just go and delete things, but you can go in here and you can actually reply to a comment from here and change other things, mark things as spam, delete them, approve them or not. So really handy for getting it around there. And I think we're pretty much coming to the end of things. There is one thing which is just hidden away at the moment here, which is the update. So I don't have any updates at the moment, but if I did, then it would show me my plugins and my themes and I could decide what I'm going to do from there. And I think that's probably enough for one video. I hope this was useful. If it was, then please give me a thumbs up as always and consider subscribing to the channel. And I hope to see you again in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.